Hello everybody and welcome back to Barcelona. It's season three. We are uh, into the final season of this project. We are trying to aim to get the uh, debt right down. And if I show you the debt at the current moment or the current state that it's in, it doesn't appear that bad, but it hasn't gone down an awful lot considering how much money we have had pumped in to the club over free sponsorships and everything like that. So if we have a look at the finances and then obviously the debt, it is six hundred and eighty three million pounds. It's not an awful lot. I thought that might have come down to around about four hundred, four hundred and fifty once we've had money paid in. It hasn't been the case. Although we have made some signings this time round. We've got ninety two million pounds in the coffers still with uh, and we're underspending on wages as well, which is quite decent. We did start off with hundred and fifty two million pounds apparently. But uh yeah, we've uh, we've made us some transfers and i think one of them in particular i think you'll find a very 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 nice uh i think so even though he's um he's injured <laughs> injured for three months played a friendly and he a first friendly of mine and uh yeah he got injured straight away so we've had a good start to the season so far we've just played the one uh, two games in fact alves and then bilbao and uh two nil over alves and an emphatic four nil victory over bilbao we want to try and win uh the champions league we came close last season we want to try and win it this season and i'm thinking with the couple of additions that we've made it will happen so Let's bring you on to the first transfer. Chris Richards, a left or right back. We brought him in because there was nobody else available. We were losing one of our backups and we wanted somebody to come in as a backup. He, incidentally, I think is going out on loan, actually. he's uh, Actually, he's not going out on loan. Maybe he is. Maybe he is. I, I don't know. Something's happening with this chap. We brought him in. £29,000 a week. Not a lot of money. And as a backup, quite decent uh, we haven't got Caesar anymore. We haven't got uh, Alba anymore because of from the first season. And I think we we're losing somebody on the right hand side as well. I can't quite remember. Paid about 13 million for him. So it's very, very low. He had a good season uh, with Bayern's second team. He has had a few games in the first team. But again, another player from Bayern Munich. Seems to be the uh, feeder club for Barcelona at the moment. Joaquim Correa, another player that we brought in as well. Um, Quite a lot of money, though, co uh, coincidentally. He's worth 38 to 42. We know we probably can get a little bit more from him. I know for a fact we paid a little bit more than that, I think, for him. I think we paid someone actually 43 or something daft like that. But mainly we brought him in for uh, the cam role, really, as backup for uh, Pedri and possibly use him as a striker as well. He's got very, very good stats, although he does fit seventh in the uh, in the backup to uh, Depay. I guess if you want to put him through as a forward and uh, yes yeah, certain things like that really but uh, yeah 43 million pound we brought I don't think there's any extra um, no there isn't but we do but we have been playing for players on the never never though unfortunately but that's the only way to get some of these players in so in to make a little bit of profit on him he had a good season last season nine goals two assists although a 6.89 doesn't really tell the story but I think he had a pretty good season and I think it'd be quite a good addition or at least a backup to Pedri one way or another. Dragovsky, goalkeeper. Now, to Neuer, he's backup. But to be perfectly honest, we could potentially use him as a first choice goalkeeper. Six foot three, he's got good jumping reach, he's got good aerial reach. You put him alongside Neuer as well and it doesn't seem that impressive. Neuer just has that extra experience. He's only 26 years old. Neuer's 37 now. A big, big difference. But yeah, he's got a lot of growing up to do. Neuer's still going to be first choice, I think. But I reckon uh, Dragovsky is going to do pretty well for us if we play him. So yeah, I'm hoping to start him up in some of the cup games. Bring Arthur in. I like the f just one name guys. Arthur, I absolutely love it. Uh, midfield, he can play Cam, he can play DM as well, but more or less. We brought him in for a backup in the in midfield. Level peg in with uh, Van Der Beek, I guess, but uh, we wanted more people in that midfield just so in case them two main guys do get injured or they can't play for some reason or another. But we bring him on loan. And we are paying about nearly £5 million for him over the total course, I think we are, which doesn't seem an awful lot. Uh, at least we're not paying 64 million. Great first touch as well. Passing's really good. 18 is 
very very good concentration is going to be concentrating fitness isn't great and his jumping reach isn't great but a five foot eight i think he has the tenacity of a very very good midfielder there diego jota we loan him in from liverpool i'm not sure how much we're paying for him uh, we'll find out in just a second but with the current form he's at with Liverpool, see how he is going to be with us. He's already played a few games. He's done reasonably well as well. Uh, we can play him on the left, right. We can play him up front. He's really back up for um, Depay. Fatty's getting himself injured an awful lot, even though we have got uh, Trincao as well. But I'm, I'm reckoning using Jota quite a bit. 26 years old, Portuguese. He can't really go wrong, I don't think. Uh, we are playing nearly £8 million over the course of his loan deal, though, unfortunately. But the last two seasons with Liverpool in the Premiership, 7-plus rating. That's got to be decent and worth a pop, I reckon. And uh, Like I say, he's done reasonably well already. We bring in a right-back as well. He can also play in the centre. Um, Mikili, Nordi. Back up to Mingueza, really, I feel. Sula could play on the right-hand side. I'd like to see Sula in the centre. That's where I think he's best. But he can play also on the right-hand side. But uh, he can, we can push this guy up as well. He's got very, very good physicals. Uh, pace and acceleration is excellent. Good crossing as well. Anticipation and bravery. He's not going to just jump in there without adding everything up, I guess. But, uh, yeah, and, uh, £34 million, pounds, though. I'm sure that's going to rise up to a bit. Well, no, it does, actually. That's quite decent. Again, last season, uh, only two games for Leipzig. Um, one assist in two games, 7.35. To me, that's pretty damn good. The previous seasons... He's played in the 20s. Yeah, it's okay. Close to seven. But again, I think we wanted somebody as backup. And instead of buying just normal, not as good players, I thought Michele would be quite a, quite a good steal as well. Now, we had to bring in a backup to the backup to the first, first team player. Um, you probably heard me speak about him in the last couple of episodes. But yeah, he's injured. We had to bring in somebody very quick. And uh, tomorrow we bring in... Yeah, I'm... He's played a few games already and I'm quite impressed so far with what I've seen. He can play in the centre. We mainly bought him for a left back as backup. He can play in right as well, more or less in the centre. So, uh, yeah, the two defenders at the minute, the two youngsters, are going to have a, their work cut out. But at 25 years old, his stats look really good. And I think it would be an ideal um, solution for us. He's not going to go running up the field at all I don't think but he's six foot one he can jump and he can head the ball so go up for corners my friend just go up for corners but yeah we want to try and use him as a backup there but I think he's going to be more or less a backup here but he can play either position which is great but yeah 63 million pounds rising up to 70 with certain add-ons as well a lot of money we've got money to burn so let's do it you know what I've given up with the chasing the debt down it's not going down if we didn't pay these players it probably would be down but yeah, we've had to, uh, with other teams getting better plays in, we've had to start doing the same as well. But with Milan, last two seasons, seven plus. Amazing. Now, Alfonso Davis is our um, showpiece signing. He's currently injured. He's with the torn core, calf muck corn. He's, taught, he's got torn calf muscles. He's out for another 12 days to six weeks. So uh, he's almost fit. But yeah, Tamari was brought in for this guy. And uh, yeah, is he went and got injured after well, not even playing a game. I don't think probably in training. I think it was as well. He looks uh, pretty determined, doesn't he? Them stats, pace, fitness. Oh my god, he's just going to be running up and down that line. He can play up there, play there, play there. But oh my god, he can play everywhere on that left hand side. Canadian born as well. He's well, like I say, he's currently injured. Uh, we've played a lot of money for him, a lot of money, and that's probably why our debt hasn't gone down at all, really. 105 million, rising up to 120 million pounds. The last two seasons for, yeah, we're picking plays off Bayern. Haven't you noticed? It's the thing we do nowadays. Uh, seven plus rating as well. He's, I can't wait to get him in the team, but we have to wait a little bit longer, which I'm really disappointed with. I just don't know what else to say about the guy. He's, uh, I think he's going to be the, one of the differences. He's quite young as well, actually. Uh, 22 years old. So whereas we've had Cesar Squicoletta, I can't say his name, and Alba, uh, where they were in the 30s, he's in his 20s, early 20s mind. And I think our back four is starting to take a little bit of shape now. The majority of our plays are as well. But I'm very, very excited to uh, see what he can do. That is going to conclude the tr uh, transfers in. And as you can see, uh, if we have a look and add up what we've spent since the turn of the... Uh, of the, um, I can't find my calculator. There it is. So if we add up how much money we've actually spent there. So we spent 13 million 
on Richards, which I'm thinking he's going out on loan. Uh, we're going to be we spent say 120 in total on Alfonso Davis, 43 on uh, Carrera as well. And um, did we le release anybody in June? Uh, Almeida has gone on a free. Barbara so Dest has gone to Monaco for up to 16 million pounds, so it's not too bad. Uh, some of the youngsters going as well. But if we have a look at here, 118 million there. It's a lot of money. We've spent nearly 300 million pounds in transfers. Yes, 300 million in transfers. Uh, we haven't brought that much in, to be perfectly honest. Probably about 70 million in. So 220 million net spend, I think it is. But if we go through the players that we've let go as well on this uh, this turn of the season as well. Uh, Abenak, he's gone to Ibiza for 25 million out on loan. Albert uh, Ux, he's gone to Extra Mardia. Uh, Isco, has gone for 7.5 million. Akamak, he's gone to 40 million to uh, Frankfurt. We've also lost PK, he's gone for uh, 625,000. He's finally gone as well. Neto, the other goalkeeper, or Nito, he's gone for 6.2 million. And then uh, Puig, he went for 26 million. Quite surprising about Puig. And like I say, Chris Richards, we brought him in. I've realised I made a mistake. Frankfurt decided, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have him. So uh, he's gone over there. And Demir, he's out on loan as well. Whether or not we'll see him the, this season or not. But with it being the last season, I really want to make a push for the Champions League. If we can, we are predicted to win the league once again. And uh, yeah, we want to try and do that. And do, uh, do more. Sula, Arujo, uh, Courtois is number one actually. Alaba, uh, De Jong we've got as well. Depay. We've got four players to watch out for um, in this uh, scenario here. As a uh, players to watch for. But yeah, very, very excited to. Uh, Lewandowski. He's with Real Madrid. Hmm. He, he's. Uh, he's wow. Well, he left uh, Bayern. How much did they pay for him? Actually, he was there last season, wasn't he? 41 goals. Oh, okay. I didn't realise he went there. Maybe we need to look for something like that as well. But we still got Cavani, I think. So we're not that uh, that bad, really. But uh, first off, though, we have got the draw for the Champions League. So let's go through that. And if we have time, we'll go and play this uh, this next game. Uh, let's view the draw then. So we're going to be top seeds anyway, alongside with Bayern, Juventus, Benfica. We're in Group D. There's Manu FC, we missed them out. Uh, Atletico Madrid. Uh, Atletico Madrid in first... Uh, what? Ajax and Monaco. What happened to Real Madrid? Real Madrid are second seeds. What happened last season? Did I miss something? Right, okay, we've got this Man City, this Chelsea, Dortmund, Leipzig, Liverpool, PSG, or Inter, really, that we could face. That's going to be interesting. So let's drop the first one. We don't see Inter. We don't see Man City, which is good. We don't see Liverpool, which is better. So who we got left that we could potentially see? We've got PSG. Jeez. Um, Chelsea, Dortmund. Let's play Leipzig or Dortmund, please. I don't want to play PSG or Chelsea now. So And uh, we get Leipzig. Okay. That's, uh, that's handy. Dortmund into the Man U group. PSG, Atletico. Real Madrid will face Ajax. And Chelsea will face Monaco. Right, I'm, I'm, I didn't realise there was another team in there. Did I miss somebody? No, that's it. Right, uh, other teams to face that we could potentially. Uh, Atalanta, Lyon. Um, can't have any German teams in there. PSV we could possibly face. Shakhtar, Milan. Sporting and Galatasaray. Okay, let's have a look then. Uh, Valencia has gone out to uh, that danger group there. It's a big, big, tough group though. Galatasaray. I think Liverpool looked the lead to take on that group. And we get PSV. Okay, that's pretty decent. I'm quite happy about that as well. Uh, that's pretty decent for us. Very nice. Right, so the next group then. We won't play Vigo. We won't play Wolfsburg. And we won't play, uh, that's it. So there's Olympiacos, Zenit, Salzburg, Cel yeah, let's play Celtic. I want to play an English team in the groups. Genk and Sarajevo. Okay, let's have a look. Sarajevo, um, not been that far, in, uh, been in the Champions League much, have they? So let's uh, draw the Celtic right in the, well, they're in the group of death, I think, in that group. Vigo will face Man City and Juventus with Leon. Zenit, of uh, course. Uh, three. So uh, who we got here? So we can't play Wolfsburg. Um, sorry, Ava. Then for me, please. 
It is Salzburg. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. And uh, there you have the group stages there. That's pretty decent. I'm quite happy about that. I think we're in a very, very good position to go jump straight through. And like I say, uh, I don't think we'll be concentrating too much on the group stages. I think maybe when we play Leipzig, we'll probably play and maybe PSV possibly. I don't know. We'll see how the fixtures fall. But we, I don't think we'll be playing much of the group stages. We're expected to go through in these ones. Incidentally, before we move on to the uh, to the game, I know this episode is going to go on for a little bit longer. Um, we did try to get Bruno. We tried to get Alexander Arnold. We tried to get De Litt, We tried to get SMS. Um, all these players we tried to bring in, and the only thing stopping us was that the fact they wanted over half a million pound in wages a week. That is something I am not prepared to do because if we just have a look at our squad. Our top earner is uh, is Depay on 400. I was reluctant to uh, pay that, but I was also reluctant not to let him go. And if we have a look at the reason why, that's why. Look at his goal scoring form. 30 last season in 31 league games, 21 before that. But last season, he's 48 and 47 games Depay for us. That's the reason I would pay anything. And to replace him would have cost us a damn sight lot more. So, yeah. Um, that was the main reason we couldn't get anybody else in. I mean, a lot of these players want ridiculous money. I mean, you can look at it now. Even Pal Torres as well, four, uh, 475 max. He'll last for a little bit more than that. Same with all of them as well. It's just ridiculous. Greenish as well. And on top of them wages, you've got to pay these, uh, uh, these prices as well, which, again, wasn't prepared to do. Although, granted, we did pay that much for um, uh, Davies. But if you look at Davies, though, where his wages are only £185,000 a week. It's not an awful lot. And then some of the guys that we did bring in, um, Nguese is only on forty grand a week. That just seems a little bit wrong. And Sula as well, 70. Some of these guys, Diallo, 76. Some of these guys that we're bringing in that are really good quality players or that we brought in and, um, and nurturing really well, they're on low wages, so... It kind of works out quite well for us. Even though we've got wiggle room in the wages uh, budget, and we're not prepared to make that mistake where we can't, where we get high wage players and can't release them. Right, okay, let's go on to the first game then, folks. We've got Valencia. Right then, folks, here we go then. We're at Valencia, away from home. Noya starts. Mingueza, Arujo, Sula, and Tomore comes on the left hand side. Uh, Pedri, De Jong, Brozovic, Diallo, Fatin, Depay. Not much change other than just uh, Tomore coming in. We have got Van de Beek on the bench with Arthur Garcia, Jotters on the bench, Careers on the bench, Gavi and Michele. Um, quite excited about this lineup. We have got an excess number of players now, so we have to try and keep them all happy if we can. But I think if we can go with the strongest team and just tweak it now and again, we should uh, be fine. We've got a lot of games happening this season, especially with the um, World Club Championships. So that would be quite interesting. So uh, we'll go straight to the window and let's hopefully we can keep uh, get this form going. Uh, keep going, should I say. And uh, Valencia have lost one and drawn one in the first two games. We have, have however, won both. So as we're first off... Um, no, we're not actually. Vigo have already won their first game. As we've uh, pegged Valencia all the way back. They start off with a goal kick slowly. But we've won it back. Pedri, Memphis. Uh, lovely stuff and it's... Wow, that's from a that's from a goal kick. Can we go on an unbeaten season? That would be nice. But it is Valencia that have a uh, well, they don't have anything because we've got it back. De Jong all the way back to the goalkeeper Noya. We are going to see Dragovic in goal as well at some point. Like I say, cup matches. I think uh, we might see some of these players in the cup games as well. Starting, give our first teamers a break. But Valencia are playing around with it once again after winning it back, though. Uh, we've got a foot in there. And Gayo runs forward and passes it to Draxler. Diabala was another play that we were looking at as well. So, wow, I don't know what happened there, though. But it looks to be like a foul or an offside. Guedes is not going to get his goal. I think there's a foul on the goalkeeper, personally. Has, um, has it been allowed? I'm not sure what's happened here. Oh, it's not offside. I don't know. I don't know what they were looking at. They gave me a glimmer of hope. Then, that's not 
exciting enough, is it? Uh, long throw in tomorrow. The lovely long throw. To, not sure who was who was aiming for though, but we didn't get the uh, didn't put it in the back of the net. One one with Valencia, and that's half time. We've literally done nothing since that goal. Uh, that wasn't good enough. So maybe we ought to change things up a little bit now. Who do we bring on, Minguiz? I'm going to bring Emma Kaylee in here. Let him have a look as well. Nervous is Brozovic, so I'm I'm very tempted with Arthur or Van der Beek. Um, we'll bring Van der Beek in so them two can play together. And uh, I think we can have one more sub. I'm not going to make any substitutions just yet, though. But uh, McKaylee and uh, Van der Beek are on. We've got an injury at the at back. Who is it? Uh, Sula. What's wrong with him? Ahmed. It's been very quiet this game. Pedri. Through ball. Depay. Blasts it over. He lets that one fly well over the bar. It's not impressive so far. I'm, I'm disappointed if we uh, let this one go. But my aim is to get unbeaten season. Win the league. Win everything. With the group of players that we have got. And I'm going to make another change. So it's between Jota. I'm thinking of Jota up front actually. Let's go. He's motivated. So confirm that sub. Make the change. Uh, we are going, we're going to go a little bit attacking now. Right. Okay. Everybody's a little bit happy with that. Can we get this uh, winner? Going into the last few minutes of the game. Come on, boys. We can do this. We take a 1-0 one -nil, one -nil lead and then we get pegged back. There's a lot of yellow cards in the game, though. Five minutes of added time. It is Valencia with the ball. And we're trying to press them forward as uh, Valencia come forward. Finding the gaps in behind. So tomorrow does well to get back in time, though, for that one. That's dropped points. Okay, that's where we're at at the minute, then. Very disappointed. There. I thought we played a lot better than that, though. 20 minutes, nothing else happened after that. Glimmer of hope with a uh, offside decision, but not going our way. Uh, wasn't good enough boys wasn't good enough at all hopefully we're going to be improving a little bit better than that though for but uh, three for three wasn't on the cards then right okay we're going to leave it here i do apologize the video is going on for a little bit longer but uh we'll try i'll try and shorten it if i can but yeah if you stay to the end thank you very much congratulations barcelona's and norton michaela on impressive debut we might see more of him we'll see top of the table three games played Yes, we've played more games than everybody else. It doesn't matter, but we're going to leave it there. Until the next time then, folks, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Bye-bye for now.